after their workout at the foundry, Ricky has decided to go somewhere much more serene. Oh, it's lovely that, isn't it? Yeah, the the Sheffield Botanical Gardens opened in 1836 and its Grade 2 listed glass pavilions house a wonderful collection of plants from around the world. Today, they also provide the perfect habitat for a very special Sheffield resident, John Shuttleworth. Come on in here. Yep. Yes, very nice. I did not know this was in Sheffield, I have to say. Oh, hello. Oh, hey. Yes. Good this is hello, Ricky. young man. Nice to meet you. And you yeah. too. I had to be a bit wary and check that it was really you, because you see, I used to um, work as a security guard for a sweet factory in the Rotherham area. Oh, right. Obviously, I can't say exactly where for security reasons. For security reasons, yeah. yeah. But it is you. I'm glad that you made it. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for meeting us here. Well, there's a special reason for that. Go What's on. that? Because it's nice. Uh, it is, yes, it's, no, it, it is it, lovely. It is very nice. nice. Are you from Sheffield? Of course I'm from Sheffield, yeah, yeah. yes. I grew up in uh, Bamford, which of course is a little village, and uh, Peter Purvis, uh, former BBC presenter. I remember him. And he did Kickstart, didn't he? I went off him when he did Kickstart, because mm. I remember a little lad fell off his scrambler and he was laughing. You shouldn't do that, you know. No. Oof, the skylights are open. And it's uh, nearly winter. Mm. Mm. They should be closed, shouldn't they? Yeah, they should really. Yeah, well, I mean, not... there, must, there must be a reason for it. It's maybe to bring some fresh air to the... To the plants? Foliage. Yeah. We call it foliage in Liverpool, yeah. Do you? Yeah. That's quite a posh word for a... yeah. someone yeah. from that side of uh, the country. <laughs> foliage in Liverpool? Yeah. Like, no, like no one else calls it that? No, he was calling it something else. I said when we call it foliage in Liverpool, greenery and all like that. Green. And everywhere else that speaks the English language. Well, why didn't you say Oof. that then? I was too busy listening. No, you're too busy taking hey, the mickey out lads, of me. Please don't fall out. Well, no, we're not uh, falling out. He's no, just being obnoxious. Got... Shh. What, oh, the... Shh. what is that noise? I thought it was a parrot, but it sounds like a, a four-legged creature. It's a dog look. Look at that go. Isn't that clever? How's it doing now? I come here for hours and just study that. It's um, very transcendental. But my worry is that it could lead ultimately to drug taking, hallucinogenics. Yes. yes. And I do worry about young people. That's how it starts, isn't it? Well. Staring at fountains and then before you know it, you're on a one-way ticket to meth town. Why don't we perform some music? Let's do, let's do I've a got my organ outside. outside. Have yeah. you? Oh. Um, oh, no, it's that way. That's Come right. on. You're best going me. that way if it's that banjo. way. I've got yeah. the guitar. Now listen, have you ever had the dilemma of having two tubs of margarine in the fridge? open at one time. That's yeah. Horrific. Sacrilege. Yeah. Sacrilege. Yeah. Well, it's awful, and this is um, my song all about that. Here we go. Join him when you feel confident. <laughs> aye, aye, we haven't started yet. Oof, hey. Do you like that, Ricky? I love that. Do you know what that's called? No. It's called the fun rhythm. Is it cheers people up in the last few years of life, in the hospice. Yeah. That's where I play. Anyway. <laughs> Two margarines on the go, it's a nightmare scenario. A bit faster. Two margarines in my life, two margarines to butter my knife. Two margarines, but which one should I use to butter my scone? It's a dilemma, second to none. Hey, you know it, very good. Oh, two margarines on the go, it's a nightmare scenario. Two margarines in my fridge. It's enough to end a happy marriage. Two margarines, how I long for the day when there's just one. My wife says you're a lunatic, John. Two margarines. It's like a bad dream. Isn't it? Awful. There should only be one. Well, you can have two, as long as one is earmarked for bacon only. That's <laughs> correct. <laughs> Hey, 
<laughs> that sounds like you. It does actually. Hey, <laughs> hey, kid. Go on, you make that noise now. <laughs> Thank you. All you need is a, is lurch afterwards. <laughs> yeah, lurch. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the wrong timbre for the dog. Yeah, <laughs> it's frightening it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. <laughs>